Hi, this is Chris with Cloud Computing for Kids. Today we're going to be learning how to deploy an RDS. So first we're in the console, we're going to go ahead and search up RDS and click on the first link. This should bring us to the RDS console where we can see we can create a database. So let's go ahead and click on that. So the first thing we want to do is we want to choose MySQL instead of Amazon Aura. This is because Amazon Aura is paid and we do not want to pay. So MySQL does have a free selection. So we're going to go ahead and choose that. Next, we're going to go ahead and change the name. That way we can identify our database. I'm going to change it to something like test database. We then have to create a password for our admin account. It doesn't really matter since I'm going to delete this. So I'm going to say password for the password. Normally, you shouldn't do this, though, because uh, it's a pretty easy password. Uh, we're not going to change anything about the instance class because we do have to choose a T2 micro in order to keep it free. And we're going to stop enabling the auto scaling and just go ahead and click on the box to stop it. Uh, the available availability is uh, paid, so we're not going to change anything. And we don't have to change anything with the connectivity. Or we also don't have to change anything with the database authentication. So we can go ahead and create it now. So I'm just going to go ahead and wait. And there we go. So as you can see, we have a few things we can do down here. And we can go ahead and look at monitoring so we can see what's using the database and how much of the storage is using and all that. Next, we can go ahead and look at logs. Uh, we haven't really covered any of this. Here are the instance settings and we haven't really covered this either. Uh, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. And tags, we don't have any tags to identify this. So now I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. So we go ahead and select it, go to actions, delete, and type in delete me.